Hey guys, it's me today, uh, Tom. Uh, we had a 23-20 wire, it was really close. Uh, we had 8 uh, eight tower 12s, 6 tower 11s, 3 tower 10s, 3 tower 9s, so that's 8 6 three, three. They had 8 and 9, 1, 2, 4, 5. They had 9, 5, 4, 9, 5, 4, uh, and 2. Yep, 9, 5, 4, 2 against our 8, 6, 3, 3. So obviously they had a bit of an advantage there, but I'll see you. <clears throat> I'll see some couple of cool replays. Like this one. Done by yours truly in my Tower 11 version. Let's see. Eagles. Let's see the values where the value is. Eagles in the middle. Infernal single over this side. The queen that side. Or the sweepers are pointing these ways. It's bit. It's kind of spread out really. What comes to your mind first? Well, first you could also you could do a. Uh, you could do a hog attack taking both heroes, ego, and one section of the base, either this side or this side. But also, notice how the w splash defenses are mostly on one side of the base and that really weak level one. So let's see how it's done. Opting in for a Pekka Bow back here. You can see all these buildings touching each other, so E Drag Funnel will do nicely. And over here, all these storages are pretty much touching each other, so E-Drag Funnel there will work. Always use a lane to fish out any black air mines before you put E-Drag. Number one rule. See, look at all those chains on this side. Taking out entire compartments and stuff. Look at that a funnel, really, with two e drags and two loons. That's 70 space, but look at all that. It gives a direct path inside to the car. I opted for an extra freeze this time because the free going right into single inferno, but one freeze was, should be enough to offset it. I uh, don't know what my troops were doing there, but oh, they're chasing that king, but that was a bit weird. I brought in my CC two. I brought in my CC two ice golems and a giant. Well, you could bring bowlers or volks or a pecker and a one volk, but considering all these. Pekka has a risk of that single inferno, and there's too many walls to get through. Bowlers, Fox, you need fast reactions, and like, uh, the, these these expos probably won't be tanks, so Ice Golden Numbers are probably the best bet. Look at that radius freeze. This is not max space, but the, the layout isn't the easiest. It is a pretty good layout, but. Yeah. You probably can't just spam like Bullwitch or E drags on this. No way. Bats come down to. Oh. The king went down, but. Just, just look at this. Expo's about to tank here and here. Well, maybe not that long, but. You had two freezes just for one wizard tower, it's a bit overkill. That was a good freeze on the X4. With high level bat spells, always freeze early because you run the risk of not getting it. You see? That makes the Ice Golems a pretty good choice because they just tank some tank. Now just look. 
That's went well, travelling fast through all this side. So hopefully this helps. I'll quick see. My CC had a jump, two ice golems, one giant and a wall wrecker. Hope this helps. I'll show you that one time one thing at the start, it was pretty funny to look at. <coughs> My troops were chasing the king. But it kinda went funny. This was funny bit, just look at this now. That bowler went over there. And the cheeks went backwards and forwards. That was a fun that was a funny bit, I gotta admit. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace out.